Now, the final phase where you're likely losing prospects throughout your funnel is going to be after the second appointment occurs, but before any paperwork is signed and dated. Now, congratulations, you got your verbal commitment to move forward. The only remaining hurdle is the former financial advisor, uh, if they had one in general. And I say financial advisor, that could be an insurance agent, that could be a broker, that could be a, you know, a CPA, another accountant, whatever it is, you're dealing with the competition. This would be another situation why you actually would want to have your sales process branded because that'll serve as an aid to closing the deal because you offer them something that no one else can, okay? But uh, their former financial advisor is obviously not going to be too thrilled about them making a move. They will probably do whatever they can to halt any sort of transition to work with you, and they'll probably want to tear down the plan that you built. So the number one mistake to avoid after the second appointment occurs but before any paperwork is signed and dated, is not preparing your new client for what to expect upon the breakup and the new relationship with your firm. Coach your client on what they should be expecting when they let their other advisor or their other account or whomever it is know that they are leaving. Your number one priority is onboarding your new client successfully and initiating the plan you built. Whereas your client's number one priority is their own finances and financial future. Behavior comes into play here. Emotion will drive decisions. Remember that. The other advisor's number one priority is tearing apart your deal and salvaging their client. Okay. Some advisors will do this gracefully, while some will not. You should be telling your new client what should happen based upon your experiences with the more graceful breakups that you've dealt with. Here's a good line here. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, we're excited to move forward with you. Um, When it comes time to, uh, you know, let so-and-so know that you're going to be making a transition, they should understand that your goals have changed. If, If they were a friend before, they will remain a friend afterwards. They know that you've thought long and hard about this. You don't just make decisions on a whim. They will respect your decision. Now, if the ex advisor, you know, the ex account, whomever, if they do handle the situation in a hostile manner. It's just going to burn that bridge and you've likely earned a client for life, right? But again, they should more than likely handle it gracefully. And it's that grace that will also provide some sort of a, I don't want to call it a pushback, but it can it can creep up a little bit with uh, like in the client's mind. Maybe I shouldn't make a change. Maybe I shouldn't. I can just tell my advisor what I want to do instead and they'll just do it. That, that happens a lot, right? So we got to be upfront with that. Uh, try to be uh, not aggressive, but assertive when you tell them what to expect and be confident. 